need your license and ham sandwich, please. What the fuck, dude? I'm not even gonna ask how you grow all that fucking hair back in two weeks. I sneezed. <laughs> Are you trying to tell me that you sneezed and all that hair fell out of your face? Yes. Okay, that's not a thing. I know you're not a cop. What you're doing is shockingly illegal. Where the fuck did you get that cop car? It was a gift. You have two guns. Ty, where were the police officers that were inside that cop car? I didn't eat them. I didn't say you did. What are you doing there? I am calling the actual police. God damn it. Fucking idiot. <sighs> oh damn. That is crazy. Yeah, no, this is me. Oh. Holy shit. That's fucking cool. Guys, I don't know what's going on with Ty, but clearly he needs our help, so I'm actually gonna be opening a charity in my name. So if you want to donate any cash or Visa gift cards or Sony G Master lenses, um, go ahead and donate them and, you know, I'll make sure he gets them. Also, one like on this video equals one prayer for Ty. But anyway, once we got Ty like 15 minutes of therapy and got rid of his beard, we were ready to go shoot. We went out just before sunset again, and I'll be honest, like this night, I wasn't super feeling it, but Ty had mentioned that he saw a bunch of steam coming out of the street. So I was like, okay, that sounds kind of interesting. We'll go check that out. I ended up not wanting to leave that spot because there was so much steam. It was freezing this night and it just looked incredible. So pretty much all the shots, or at least all the good shots in this video are just going to be steamy, awesome, kind of epic, but very similar shots. So just know that going into it. Also, don't forget to keep an eye open for the pug hidden somewhere in this video, because if you're the first person to correctly post the timestamp where it's at, I'll buy Ty a warm dumpster sandwich. So unfortunately, these walls of steam were the result of these Excel guys doing work on some of the lines underneath the road. So they were in the middle of the street and they kind of had them taped off and stuff like that just to make sure that no normal dipshits like me and Ty got hurt over here. But luckily they were cool. But unfortunately that means that no other people were kind of over in this area. It was just these guys. But as far as subjects go, I think I could do worse. These guys all had nice bright reflective vests on. And since it was cloudy, it gave us an opportunity to sort of make them pop with the photos. There's really not a whole lot to say about these. We were just kind of playing around, just waiting for the right moments and trying different compositions and stuff like that. So I'm not going to talk too much during these just because they're kind of self-explanatory, but I do really like them.
These ones were a bit weird, but I think they might be a couple of my favorites just because of the perspective. He was kind of dragging this hose along the ground, and with the 85, I just focused on the tip of the hose, so it threw him out of focus, but I think it made for a kind of interesting composition. We were sort of getting the same shots over and over, so we decided to keep wandering a little bit and maybe come back through when it got a little bit darker. I really wanted to get some sort of photo with headlights beaming through the steam, and it took a long time, but I ended up getting some shots that I really love later on in the video. Shut up, dick. That one. That's good. <laughs> Tug it on the hose. The hose tugger. How's the subway still not closed? This shit's been here forever. The trashest food ever. I only don't count their bread and bread anymore. I, I think I heard about that. Sugar in it. It's like American cheese. Like you're not legally allowed to call it cheese. They have to call it cheese products. It doesn't meet the criteria for fucking cheese. <laughs> I do like Subway, like it tastes good, but I'm just surprised they uh, escaped the whole Jared Fogle thing intact, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like, that's fuck, dude. Stuff, like, he was Subway, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was trying to focus on this cowboy feller through the fence, but the A7 III just kept grabbing onto the fence and I just didn't have enough time to switch to manual focus. Uh, this was actually the last time before I bought my A7 IV that I took the uh, A7 III out for street, so the next video I do is definitely gonna be with the A7 IV and I'm very curious to see how it stacks up when it comes to these quick thinking autofocus scenarios. So on the way back, arriving back at the wall of steam, I'm not sure if it's any heavier, it was pretty damn cold all day. It felt heavier though, just because of the lights and how everything shines through it, it really makes it glow in the middle of the street. So I ended up waiting at this spot and then another steamy spot down the road, just hoping to get somebody crossing in front of it with headlights behind them so it would cascade their shadow into the steam. funny I was looking through my viewfinder trying to focus on stuff behind the steam and like I could kind of see it but I was getting mad at the Sony for not focusing and then I'd pull my eye away from the viewfinder and realize that it was completely opaque in front of me I don't think the best camera in the world could focus on literally nothing <laughs> I know, I'm like trying to focus and then I put down my camera and I'm just like, I can't even see with my real eyes. Why the f*** would I be able to see with my camera? So right here, Ty turned around and went back home. Let's just really hope that the next time we see him, he isn't a goddamn mountain man all over again. But I bid him adieu, and then I turned around and waited here at this spot one more time, trying to get some people crossing in front of these steam pockets.
And after all the waiting and minor frustrations, I finally started to get some of the shots that I had in my head, where you could kind of see the subject, but also see their shadow even bigger and more pronounced. And I think that this was not just the money shot, but the money burst. Um, I love this shot right here. You can totally see him, but you can also see this halo of shadow around him. And he was just heading towards this trash can, but what I didn't realize was that there was a bus coming too. So in the photo, it actually almost looks like he's running away from the bus. And the way that the lights right behind the steam behind him were so bright and hot in the image that it just really draws you right into him. But that's pretty much it. After that, I went ahead and I went home. It was really damn cold. I had to constantly be reaching into my pocket to warm my hands up and my little hand warmers. So anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. Um, I'm really excited to make another video after this one because it's gonna be the first time I take the a7 IV out for street and I'm really curious to see how the tracking autofocus holds up against the a7 III. So make sure to get subscribed to see that. But otherwise, I appreciate you guys and I'll see you in the next one.